Hello, you dead old woman heads making your quiet sons kill teens. Jim Sterling here, and this is Friday the 13th, the game. Or as I like to call it, Friday the 13th, the massive disappointment. The gurning clown-like face of that one camp counsellor who turned to look at the person being killed pretty much exemplifies Sorry. what this game is like. It's certainly similar to a face I pulled while playing this, a game based on one of my favourite movie franchises. You know, it's it's not up there, it's, it's not Aliens, but I do really like the Friday the 13th films. Uh, Jason Voorhees, my particular slasher antagonist of choice. And this game is, well, not an improvement over the alpha really, not to any great significant degree, it feels just as clunky as it did way back then. So there you go. Anyway, I found a car battery. Um, so this is some pre-recorded stuff. This is the PS4 version in particular. Uh, this is one of the few matches I was able to get into. Uh, matchmaking across all systems, I believe, is uh, not particularly good, uh, but varying platforms have varying levels of success in terms of trying to get into a match. But when you finally get into one, you have a game that's very difficult to control, uh, that glitches out frequently. And as we will see at one point in this particular round, Actually, you know what? I can't even describe what happened there, but you're you're going to see it, and that's good because I don't think I could actually relay it to people. Uh, so this is me getting used to the controls and everything. Uh, I'd been playing it on mousey keyboards on the alpha version, and even then, months and months ago. So this was my first full game back into it. Well, well, actually, it was my technically my second, but the first one were uh, the the technical fuck-ups were so bad, uh, which was a shame because the match was actually interesting, would have made some good video footage, but eventually it got just so fucked up, uh, technically, that it was it was mostly dull and, and, and not, not a great video. So we got this. It's still kind of dull because a lot of this game is. Uh, when you're not actively being chased by Jason, it's just a scavenger hunt, mostly. You're looking for things that'll help you. Uh, sorry, I, I tapped instead of held, but I got a map. It helps to have a map. Uh, I'd gotten this car battery, but uh, I'd, I'd completely forgotten uh, whereabouts the car might be. I was following this other person, but we got the map, and then I was able to see the car park logo. So I was on my way there, and feeling pretty good about things. Uh, this was a better level of success that I'd gotten during the Alpha when I was making a video for that. So, sorry, that, that noise there was just me having a quick cheeky bit of water. Uh, it wasn't like like a wet bowel problem or anything like that. Uh, I get very concerned that people might think I'm doing a wet bowel problem when doing a video. Uh, but if, if anything's a wet bowel problem, it is this game. And it saddens me to say, I get no pleasure from saying this, but... I, I was in disbelief. We we're about to get to the point where I was truly, was truly like? just stunned. So I'm putting in the car battery. I've, I've never been able to get this far with the game before, so I was very excited. I had no idea about this QTE you've got to do to install the motor, but we did it. There we go. Thank Car's you. ready. <laughs> Hooray. Sort of. I didn't have the key. And I wasn't quite sure what that meant. I didn't. I didn't realise someone else had the key on them and could drive it. I thought maybe you could stick the key in the ignition and leave it there, but we were at somebody else's mercy, I think. I think. It's hard to tell because this whole thing gets very messy in a minute. But I thought I'd just kill some time, you know. Everything was in place, but there are only a limited number of seats on the car, so I thought, well... Let's stick around here, and, and when someone can drive, then then I better hop in before somebody else. So, yeah, yeah, this, this is so far the typical Friday the 13th experience, when it's not just completely glitching out. Uh, is just a lot of wandering about, waiting, not seeing Jason, uh, just hoping someone has their shit together alongside you. Uh, I installed the engine, I did my part. But we are we are getting towards some 
activity. The whole time, of course, Jason is presumably stalking the camp, looking for the other players. Uh, it's a very interesting idea, and that's one thing about this game. This is what makes it so tragic, really, is the game itself is full of great ideas. The actual premise is sound. Uh, as far as I can tell when it's working correctly, there is some decent degree of balance, maybe. But anyway, here's where it all goes wrong. So, first of all, get in before that player. I don't know what the fuck happened to her hair just then. And this is it. Off we go. Hooray. Oh, wait, it's Jason. He is suddenly there now. So let's get out of the car and deal with... Oh, no, he's down. So let's go back in the car and get going. Here it is. Jason's knocked out. We've won. Let's drive. We've won. Oh, he's gotten back up. Oh, he's done that again. Okay. Oh, he's done it again. Okay. So now what? Uh, get out again. With, with a really nice camera motion as you get out that shows you behind your character's eyeballs. Very horrifying. They've all got that weird puppet face, that boggling face going on. Uh, Jason is just stood there now. His body seems to be frozen. Oh no, he's back up. He's moving again. Uh, but everyone else got back in the car, assuming he was dead, but no. Uh, at this point, I was quite sure they'd drive off without me, but hooray, I'm back in the car. Let's go. Yep, back up, hit him or something. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, he's doing that thing again. Just hit him. No. Okay. So we go out and bash him up again. Here we go. And he's frozen again. He's frozen again. At this point, I was yelling a lot. A considerable amount. Oh, and he's, he's snapped back into action. The moment we get back in the car, he's stopped being... All fr oh, he's, he's hit the bonnet again. That's nice. Or the hood for our American viewers. So, one person got out to deal with him. Oh, he bashed the bonnet again. One person got out to deal with him. At this point, I was, and I think everyone else was, yeah, I was just shaking my in-game head. I like doing that. It's a kind of a performative thing, isn't it? I thought, well, I'll, I'll show my dismay in-game. It's frozen again, for fuck's sake. So, <laughs> I get back into what apparently is my designated seat. I can't ride shotgun. And he's bashed the bonnet again. And that was... There we go. I got fucking bored and left. I got fucking bored and left. I, I still don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Ah, look at his fucking face. Fucking idiot. Okay, so I've skipped what was ages and ages of wandering around. I found a security radio walkie-talkie. I found something. Uh, but I was so bored. Almost everyone was dead. Uh, <laughs> Jason had basically slaughtered everyone at the Battle of Car Gulch. Uh, and I was left with somebody else, not knowing quite what the fuck to do. Uh, and really, I think at this point, I was just looking for Jason. <laughs> I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to find the Jason player, get this done, secure that footage because people need to see that bollocks with the car. And I should point out that bollocks with the car is just one bit of bollocks that I've encountered in this game so far. Uh, the matchmaking is complete shite. Takes ages to get into a match if you get into one at all. Uh, that's if the game just isn't terminated, if you don't get the host leaving the session, because that's a problem that can still happen today. Fuck me. So, yep. That VHS squibbly effect is one of Jason's powers. You can unlock different Jasons from different movies. And this, this was frustrating because this is where the game shows its promise. Running from Jason, I'd laid some traps. I'd uh, set bear traps, uh, more than the usual even, outside this barn. I was going to lead Jason to it, but he'd run out of stamina and then his face was funny. And then the tension kind of evaporated again. He disappeared, you see, and that was all spooky. But this bit did have some tenseness to it. Uh, I felt a bit spooked. I was like, right, I've got to try and lead him into that bear trap. I was like, oh, no, that one didn't open. Oh, have I got time to open it? It's exciting. And every time I feel scared, I end up seeing this fuckface's mush. And I laugh because he's got a puppet head. Fucking hell. And they all pull that expression. Always the same expression. 
So he did that effect again to respawn a figure he was outside. And there we that that bit genuinely made me jump when I when I was playing. But you know, it was too little too late. The whole game is a technical disaster. I don't know if it's mismanagement of budget. I don't know if it's just I don't know what it is. I don't know what this game is. Oh, yeah.